Once, but not too long ago, there were two Beanie Boos who had always been the best of friends. They knew each other since they were young, when she was just a little kitten and he was just a little puppy. They spent all their time playing together every day, frolicking through the fields, laughing together, telling each other jokes, and they were always at each other's birthday parties to celebrate. But as they grew up, their bond developed. They grew closer and closer. In fact, Mufflin fell in love with him, but she could never tell him her secret. For everyone knew that cats and dogs weren't meant to be together. One day, Duke came up to Muffin and he had to confess a secret. She got excited as she thought it may be about her and she was ready to confess her love to him too. But sadly, that just wasn't meant to be. I've got something to tell you. Yes? What is it, Duke? I'm in love with someone. <gasps> It's a girl at school called Sherbet. Oh, she's the most beautiful dog I ever saw. But she'll never notice me. Muffin, what should I do? I don't know what to do. She doesn't notice me, but I really love her. like her. I just want you to be happy and I guess maybe you should try and talk to her. Okay, I think that's a good idea. I'll do that when I go to school tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Come in. What's wrong, Muffin? Are you okay? <laughs> Come on, you can tell me what's wrong. You'll only laugh at me. <laughs> no, I won't, I promise. I'm your sister, I'll always be there for you. Do you promise that you can keep a secret? Yes. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Today's been the worst day of my life. <laughs> Why, what's wrong? <laughs> you know my best friend, Duke. Yeah. <laughs> Sister, give me a hug. It'll all be okay. Don't worry. What should I do? Well, I think maybe you should tell him how you feel. Hello, Sherbert. It's me, Duke. I've got something to tell you. Yeah, like, I know who you are. What do you want? <laughs> Uh, I want to tell you that I really like you. <laughs> Why? You like me? <laughs> Don't you know how rich my family is? <laughs> You're oh. just a little scrappy boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't wait to tell my friends about this. <laughs> oh, Chief. Oh, I had a really bad day at school. Oh, no. Why are you crying? And that girl, Shabba, I went up to her and told her that I liked her, and she called me a scrappy mutt. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> and she said she's going to tell the whole school, and they're going to make fun of me. No one oh, will ever love me. No, no, that's <laughs> not true. How do you know? Oh, Duke, if only you could see you the way I see you. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I better just go home then. No, wait, you don't go. <laughs> what? I've had this horrible feeling in my stomach ever since you told me about that girl. Duke, I, I can't bear it anymore. I have to tell you. Please, please still be my friend. What's wrong? Duke, I'm 
really like you. I, and I can't help it. I'm sorry. I know cats and dogs aren't meant to be together, but I can't help it. Well, I have a secret too. I really like you too. Really? Yes. But little did Muffin know that her dad was in the corner and he saw the whole thing. What are you two doing? I've told you Muffin about having boys in the house and especially um, dirty little dogs I'm like sorry. you. Get out of my house and never come back. You're banished. I've told you not to see dogs. Dogs are bad. Get to your room. I can't. I love him. I'm sorry. I don't care. No, I can't. I can't live without him. No. Shut up or you'll be grounded for a year. Now go to bed. There will be no dogs in my house. Honey, it's me. Can I come in? I know he did, honey, but it was for your own good. You know that dogs and cats should not be together. Because everybody knows that it's bad. It's okay. Don't worry, I can find you a nice cat to be with. I know a cute little boy next door. You know him. But he's a cute little cat. Well, I'm sorry, dear, but you have to listen to what your dad says, and Duke will be banished from this house. Oh, Muffin, I've missed you so much. What are we going to do, Duke? I'm really scared. Don't worry, we will not let your dad or anyone else come between our love. No, I'm scared, Duke. I don't want to split up with you. We're going to run away together. Yes, no, no. we can do that, we can do that. And then we can be together forever. Yes. No one can be in our way. Yes. We'll show everyone that dogs and cats can yes. be together. They can. Fine. Muffin, <gasps> do you think any sister of mine can sneak out under my nose? I'm going to tell Dad. No, Tabby, please don't. Tabitha, no. Muffin? Yes? Your sister told me what you did last night. You no. snuck out and saw that boy. I didn't. She That's lied. it. She made up. That's it. She's jealous. Severe measures have to be no. taken. Daddy, you are grounded no. and you're not going out for the next no. year. No. So dumb. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, Sherbet, you're so funny. Excuse me, Sherbet. Yeah. Have you seen Muffin? Because she hasn't been in school in the past two days, and I wonder where she is. Oh, um, no, sorry. <laughs> oh, I suppose I'll have to go and ask someone else. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, you know what, Patsy? Yeah. Well, you know how 
don't you ask me out? Mm-hmm. Well, I've been thinking about it a lot and, you know, now that I realise that Muffin likes him, well, I think he's kind of cute too. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, I'm going to go and ask him out. Ooh. I'm sorry, Muffin, but this is for your own good. You're going to stay locked in this cage for the next month until you realise you can't see this boy. No, Dad, I'm sorry. I'm begging you, Dad. Bye. Dad, no, wait, Dad, no! Tabitha, Tabitha, I've been looking for you absolutely everywhere. I don't know where Muffin is. She hasn't been in school for five days. I've asked everyone and no one knows where she is. You're her sister. You must know where she is. Tell me. Our dad's gone way too far this time. He's, he's locked her in a cage. He's After what? He found out you met again. Yeah, he's really mad. Oh, so what are we going to do about it? You can't let her be locked in a cage. That's awful. Muffin doesn't deserve that. That's true. Uh, I feel really bad because it's partly my fault. Well, we have to get her out. You're right, we do. Come on, let's go. Okay. I can see your house across the street. It's just over there. just a dream. Oh, I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out now. Oh, I just can't find Muffin anywhere. I've been looking for her all over. Well, I'm sure she's okay. I mean, maybe she's just sick. Hmm, maybe, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go and ask him out. Really? <laughs> well, nothing isn't as good looking as you, so I'm sure he'll go out with you instead. She's just a piece of trash. She looks like a stray anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, here he is. I'm going to go ask him out. <laughs> here you go, Muffin. I brought you a cake. Tabitha, you know that doesn't make up for things. Well, you have to eat. You haven't eaten in like 24 hours. Yeah, and it's your fault! It's not my fault! You told Dad! Look what you did! You put me in a cage! I didn't put you in you a put cage! You put your own sister in a cage! No, I didn't! How could you? I told Dad because it was the right thing to do! It wasn't the right thing to do and you know it! You're just jealous! No, I'm not! You're jealous because for once I could have been happy! Mm. Well... I don't know. I'm, I mean, I, I guess I could let you out, but then I'm going to get in trouble. Dad's going to go mad at me. <sighs> Tabitha, you know I would let you out. You have to let me out, please. I had a terrible, terrible dream, and I'm really scared it's going to come true. Oh, God. I'll just say that I escaped myself. I won't tell you that I had anything to do with you. Okay, as long as you promise not to I tell promise. Dad. Thank you, Tabitha. I've got to go find Duke. I don't think there's much time. I hope I don't get in trouble for this. <laughs> Excuse me, can you just, like, go away? <laughs> You're a little nerd and I just really want to speak to Duke. Uh, what? Wha I said, 
I want to speak to Duke. Oh, good luck. Oh, so, uh, Shabbat, what do you want? Well, aren't you going to tell me I look pretty today? Mm, I suppose. I mean, you don't look bad. You look good, Duke. Have you been playing catch? Because you look like you've been working out. Well, maybe just a bit of catch, uh, but I'm still a bit worried at the moment. Well, Duke, <laughs> you don't have to worry because I've changed my mind. A about what? Well, you know how you asked me out? Yeah. Well, I might have been a bit hasty. And actually, <laughs> you were kind of cute in a really, you know, dorky kind of way. Oh, uh, well, thanks, I suppose. So, uh, what I wanted to ask was, you know, do you want to go out with me? Uh... So, come on, Duke, this must be like a dream for you. You know, I don't have all day. Answer the question. Do you want to go out with me? Yes or no? Um, the answer is... Muffin? <laughs> the answer, Sherbert, is no. What? You're kidding me! You know she's a liar, right? You know that whole time she wasn't even in a cage! She was seeing someone else behind your back! She'd never no, do I that! No, I wasn't! I wouldn't do that! Yes, you would! Don't even lie about it! She's a dirty, little, flea-bitten moth. Stop it! Stop it, you guys! Stop fighting! No, it's not worth it! Stop it! Stop it! What's going on here? You two, stop fighting! I saw you started it, Muffin. You attacked what? her first. I no, didn't. you're coming with me. <laughs> there was no need for you two to fight. That was very bad. No, it wasn't. If you had any idea of the sneaky little moggy that she was. But don't worry. You'll find out soon. I'll show you. What does she mean? Thank you so much for telling the teacher what you knew. That's okay, I just saw what happened from across the hallway. And you know I'm Duke's best friend, so I couldn't let his girlfriend get in trouble. Yes, you're a really good friend to Duke. I don't know what he would do without you with all this going on. Oh yeah, I know. Hey, what's Hi. going on? Oh, you finally got out then. What are you two guys doing together? just talking about what happened outside. Yeah, I saw it happen, so I thought I'd tell the headmaster what I saw. Oh, awesome. You're such a good friend to me. So, anyway, I should just speak to Muffin, so I'll see you later, yeah? Bye. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Oh, Muffin, I missed you so much. Oh, me too, Duke. I'm so glad we're back together. Hey, Patsy. Hi. How's it going, girlfriend? Like, I'm great at the moment. Good. And um, listen, I need your help. Like, what's going on? Is it with? Is it something to do with that muffin thing again? Yeah, of course it is. The thing is, I have a plan because Duke, you know, he's gone off with Muffin again. Yeah, like, why would he do that? I oh. mean, she's such a state. But it's only because he doesn't know what a liar she is. Ooh, what do you mean? Well, I've got a plan, you see, to split them up. <laughs> what I need you to do is you know his derpy little friend the pink monkey oh that guy's like such a dweeb <laughs> oh tell me about it anyway i need you to ask him out uh, why wouldn't i ask him out he's a oh, dweeb oh don't worry you won't actually have to go out with that nerd oh. it's just for part of the plan Ooh, okay thanks patsy no I knew I could rely problem on you. Da 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 do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs>
this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Wait till Muffin sees this. Oh, hey cutie! Oh, are you talking to me? Like, yeah, I think you're like totally the cutest guy in this high school. Oh, whoa, really? Like, yeah, I mean, you're so handsome. Look at your muscles. Oh, you're so strong. Oh, thanks. Like, do you want to go on a date with me? Really? Yeah. Uh, why don't you meet me at the food court today at 2 p.m. at the mall? Oh, okay. All right. I'll see you there. Oh, wow, she asked me out. I can't believe this. Ooh, Muffin. Oh, hey, Mini Dollar. How's uh, it going? I'm good. I went by your locker earlier and I saw this note on the floor. Oh. And I think it's for you. Oh, thank you. No oh, problem. That was really nice of you. Yeah, I know. I'm such a nice girl. <laughs> See you later, Muffin. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Any time. Oh, I wonder who this is from. Muffin, meet me at the food court at the mall at 2 p.m. Duke! Well, I better get going. It's nearly half one. Duke, oh, not you, you better again. come quickly. There isn't much time. You... I found the proof that I was looking for. What do you mean, proof? Your beautiful girlfriend, Muffin. Well, she's cheating on you, your best mate. What do you mean, my best friend? He wouldn't do that. That's right. They're meeting right now at the food court at the mall. We better hurry, quick. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, hey. oh, hi. Where's Duke? What do you mean? What are you doing here? Well, uh, what are you doing here? I was looking for Duke. I was supposed to meet Patsy for a date here. You know that girl from school? Patsy? Yeah, you know, the popular girl. She said that I was really handsome. Uh, that doesn't sound right, but okay. Uh, yeah, uh, so why are you here? Well, I'm here to meet Duke. Do you know where he is? No, this is weird. Uh, why are we both been told to meet here at 2 p.m.? Uh, I don't know. I, I thought I was meeting Duke. I thought I was meeting Patsy. This is really strange. It is. Um, oh. Huh? What are you two guys doing together? We, we thought we were meeting someone else. I can't believe you, Muffin. What? Sherbet was right all along. Oh, my dogs. This is... I just cannot believe you, Muffin, after all we've been through. What? I'm going. Bye. What? what? Duke, no. Come back. What? What's going on? I'm oh, so confused. What's oh. going on? Duke. Thanks for your help. I knew I could rely on you. No problem. Here it is. I promise. Ooh, I and can't don't wait. spend it all at once. I can't wait to spend this money. <laughs> Nice work. Oh, I can't, I can't believe it. You were right all along. I went oh. to the mall and they were together. Yes, I'm so sorry to be the one to bring you the bad news. I, I just couldn't believe it. Why would Muffin do this to me after all I've done for her? Well, the thing is, Duke, you can't trust all girls. Some of us lie. Oh. But the thing is, you should know that if you're with me, you would always be happy. And I would always tell you the total truth. So, so what are you saying? Well, Duke, if you really want a girlfriend, you should go out with me. Well, okay, sure. Nice. Well, that's us together now. Duke, I'm gonna go to the party now. See you later. Wait, wait, what party? You didn't tell me about any party. Oh, that's because you're a scrappy boy, remember? You remember how I always meet up with the puppy elite girls and their boyfriends? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but you can't come. They just laugh at you. Oh, Duke, the point that you could even come. 
Oh. Brush me, Duke. No, come on, better than that. You can do better than that. Yes, that's good. Are you gonna brush me afterwards? <laughs> what? You want me to brush you? Well, I'm doing it for you. Duke, trust me, it wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> Well, Duke, I'm be. I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night. Oh, well, where am I supposed to sleep? Can I join you in there? <laughs> no, Duke. You sleep on the floor, remember? Oh. <sighs> so comfortable. <laughs> right. Well, that's us off shopping now, Duke. Remember to get all those chores done for me whilst I'm gone. Oh, but why can't I come shopping? I need I need to get some stuff. <laughs> Duke, you're joking, right? Like I'd let you come out in public with me around the shops. Why? What, <laughs> Look at wrong? the state, Duke. Duke, I'm sorry, but <laughs> you keep forgetting, darling, that you are a loser. <laughs> uh, but I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> yes, I know, <laughs> Duke. There's certain rules when you're out with puppy and Lee. That's not very nice, Sherba. I don't think you should treat you that way. What? <laughs> you are joking, right? Look at the state of you! Like, you're lucky you even get to come out with me shopping. What? I thought I was meant to be your best friend. Well, of course you are, Patsy. But the thing is, to be honest, I only take you because <laughs> you are so ugly you make me look so much prettier. What? How can you be so mean? <laughs> oh, Patsy, don't act like you didn't already know. <laughs> Sherba, you need to stop being so mean to everybody. Uh, what? Yeah, I'm getting fed up with your rubbish. You're mean to me, you're mean to Muffin, you're, you're mean to everyone in the school. Actually, do you want me to tell everyone the truth? That your family's not even rich. Yeah, I said it. You know that's true, and I will tell the whole school about it unless you change your ways. What? You know that you're not really rich. I've been to your house and it isn't all that. So you need to start being nice to people. I'll let the entire school know about your poor house. You would never! Wait and see. You know what? I don't have to stand here and listen to this. And you know what? Whilst I'm at it, I'm going to tell you the truth. What truth? No, you don't listen to her. What She's do you mean, nuts. Patsy? She's got rabies. What do you mean, Patsy? You really taking it too far this time, Sherbet. The truth is, Sherbet lied to you about Muffin. What do you she mean? She set the whole thing up. But I saw them together. No, it's not true. She set them up so they'd be caught together. Patsy, shut your face. What do you mean? What did she do? She set them up so they thought they were meeting you, but they were actually meeting each other. What? Is that true? You are such a little... Is that true? Because if that's true, Duke, you know if you look into your heart, you'll find the truth. Yeah, I have looked into my heart and I do know the truth. <laughs> you're dumb. <gasps> what? Yes, and you're dumb to my best friend too. What? <sighs> I won't take this. I'll get my revenge. You'll see. I'll ruin the both of you. Now I've got to go and find Muffin. I'm sorry, Duke. I should have told you the truth from the start. It's okay. I know how she is now. Well, I hope you still can make it up. I'll try. Oh, I can't believe she treated me that way. And that I let her. I think the whole school should know exactly what a liar Sherbert really is. <laughs> yeah, so obviously I had to dump him. <laughs> if he bought me a little collar, it wasn't even 25 carat gold. As oh if my I would God. accept that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even 24 carat gold. No, was... Like, oh my God, that's like just rubbish. I, I know. mean, <laughs> we wear that type of stuff all Sherbert. the time. 
<laughs> you, what do you want, you little scrap? Well, I'm here to tell you all the truth. The thing is, Sherbet is a liar, and I can prove it. Like, what do you mean? She, she's never lied to us. What are you talking about? As if anyone would listen to you. Come on, girls, let's go. No, I've got a photo that even proves it. Patsy showed me. What? That's right, girls. Sherbet isn't even rich. She's lied to you the whole time. Here's a photo of her outside her house. Like, oh my dogs, that is absolutely disgusting. Do you really live there? Uh, you told us you lived in a mansion. That's not my house they Photoshop there. It looks real enough to me. Well, I'm sorry, Sherbert, but if you're not rich like us, then you're kicked out of the elite. What? You can go and hang around with the geeks, because you're not as popular that... as us anymore. But that's not true. You know this is all fake. Well, that picture looks real enough to us. I swear. See you later. I'll get you for this muffin. And that's what you get for messing with me. Ah, muffin, if you think you've seen the last of me, you've got another thing coming. I will ruin you all for this. <laughs> Is the plan all in motion? Yeah, it's all ready. Those guys are not going to know what hit them. But first, where's my money? Because Minnie Dala does nothing for free. Well, Minnie Dala, I know that. Here's your money. Ooh, can't wait to spend this bad boy. This better be good. Don't worry, I always fulfill my end of the bargain. <laughs> See you later, Shabbat. <laughs> good. They don't know what they've got killing. <laughs> so, Duke, you wanted me to meet you here. Yeah, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry for what happened. I, I, I just can't believe she lied to me. She made it look so convincing. How was I to know? Oh, it's okay, Duke. She's like that. And, you know, we, we were going through a hard time. But I didn't okay. even really love her. I always loved you. But I was just with her because... I, I, know, I just thought you'd cheated on me. Oh, I would never do that, Duke. You know that. But the truth Come is, on. I want to be with you forever. Oh, Duke, I want to be with you forever too. And I've got something to ask you. Yes? Close your eyes. Oh, okay, what is it? Muffin? Yes? Will you marry me? <gasps> Duke, I... Uh, uh. Please say yes. <gasps> Muffin? Yes? Will you marry me? <gasps> Duke! Oh my gosh! Yes, yes, yes! I will, I will! <gasps> it's so beautiful! Here, let me put it on you. Oh, Duke! Duke, it looks so beautiful. Thank you. I love it. It's beautiful, like you. Oh, Duke. Oh. So, so when shall we do it? Oh, very soon. Maybe Valentine's Day. That's coming up. <gasps> that would be so romantic. Oh, there's so many people to invite. I, I know my parents won't come, but, but Duke, what about yours? You should tell them. Well, it's a sad story. I never knew my father. Oh, Duke, I'm sorry. I'd... Oh. So he can't come. There's no way he can come. I haven't seen my mother in 15 years. Oh, Duke, I'm sorry. But I'm sure we can invite all our friends instead. Yeah, we should do that. Let's go and invite them now, then. Yeah, let's tell them the good news. Yeah, oh, there you are. 
Have you been followed? <laughs> you having a laugh? I never get followed. Well, one can't be too careful. Now, have you got the document in question? Of course I have. I'm in Zara. I always deliver. Good. I knew I could count on you. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> I hope it doesn't cause too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it does. <laughs> Right, Minnie Darla, let me just come back with your cash. Do you hurry up, I ain't go all day. My time's precious, babes. There you go. Ooh. One pound fifty. Just Ooh. as requested. What am I going to spend this on? This could go. Yourself. You deserve it. This could go in my big pile of cash. Right, well, thank you. I've got more work to do, so I'll see you later. Bye! Excellent. Now the plan is in motion. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Tabitha. Shabba? <laughs> um, I was wondering if uh, I could speak to your dad. My dad? Why do you want to speak to my dad for? Oh, it's none of your concern. I've just got something to deliver. Mm, uh, it's a bit weird, but I suppose I can go and, and get him. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi, Sherbet. Have you got the item that I requested? I have. Oh, okay. <laughs> this should put a stop to it all. This wedding is never going ahead. <laughs> we are gathered here today to celebrate the holy matrimony of marriage between these two lovely Beanie Boos. We have Muffin, the beautiful bride, and Duke, the ever handsome groom. Today, you will both make a lifelong bond of commitment that will forever shape your lives. Do you both agree that this is something that you want to do? Yes. Yes. If there's anybody in the church today, that sees any lawful reason why these two shouldn't be married, now is your time to speak. <gasps> yes! Oh, it's Muffin's dad! I have a reason why these two cannot get married. Why? Why, dear boy? You better have a good reason. Oh, I've got a good reason, all right. Dad, please, no, don't. You know how much I love him. There's a secret that you don't know about, Muffin. What? That you don't know about, Duke. A secret? What yes. are you talking about, Dad? There's no secret. There is, and it's on this paper. This is Duke's birth certificate. What? I'm sorry to inform you, but Muffin, Duke is your half-brother. <gasps> what? What do you mean? Messing with a puppy elite. I can't believe our wedding was ruined. I won't be needing that anymore. I know, I'm sorry. It's a, it, it, it can't be true. I mean, it must be a lie. It's not true. There's no way that we're brother and sister. It must be another one of Sherbet's lies. It will be. Well, I'm getting fed up with Sherba, and I'm going to do something about it. She's going to pay for what she's done. I've had enough of her. It's time for her to pay. Come on, let's go. We'll show her. We'll show her. Mum. Yes? I've got something to tell you, and I don't think you're going to like it. What's that, dear? Well, you know my friend and Duke. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh, I don't know how to say this. Um, they went to get married yesterday. They what? They went to get married.
trying to get married. Oh no, that must have been, oh no. Oh. Yeah, I know, and Dad was there, and uh, he burst in and he said that they were brother and sister. <sighs> I'm sorry. Is that true, Mum? Mm. Are they really brother and sister? Because that makes him my brother too. I'm sorry, your dad was lying. We, I knew about this all along. What? I, I tried to stop him, but he, he just doesn't listen. Mum, you have to do something. Uh, Muffin's uh, heartbroken. I know. Don't worry. I'll, 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 I'll sort your dad out. Please, Mum. Please, before it's too late. This has gone too far already. Okay, he's here. G get going. I'll, I'll, I'll speak to him. Okay. Honey, what? I need to say that you've gone too far with this whole Muffin thing. What? Shut up. I do what I want. Muffin deserves what she gets. I told her not to go with that dog. You've got to let a daughter follow her heart. If she loves Duke, she has to go with Duke. No. Everybody does what I say in this house. I'm the man of this house and you all do what I say. Ah, uh, excuse me? I said everybody does what I say. Huh? Well, that's not true, is it? Because you're gonna do what I say. I'm your wife. And you know, I know loads of secrets about you that I could tell everybody. What? No, you wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? What I suggest you do, honey, is go over there and climb in that cage. What? No. Oh, no? Well, if you don't, I'll tell everybody about your... Uh, okay, okay, I'll get in the cage. I can't believe you'd lock your own husband in a cage. Well, you locked our daughter in a cage, didn't you? Yes, but she was going with a dog. You know that's bad. Look, Muffin's old enough to do what she likes now, and I'm putting my foot down. Now you sit there and think about what you've done. Now I'm going to go tell everyone the truth that the note was forged that Muffin is not really Duke's sister. You wouldn't. Watch me. <laughs> What's this? A muffin? <laughs> Ooh. Must be from one of my adoring fans. <laughs> Ooh, I love chocolate. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh like, dogs. look who it is. You guys look absolutely amazing. I <laughs> love what you've done with your hair, Patsy. Well, 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 if it isn't the little the scrappy kennel girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't be mean, Patsy. We're best friends, remember? <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Um, well, you know... <laughs> We all make mistakes, right? And um, please, you know, girls, this is my life. <laughs> You've got to let me back into the puppy elite. <laughs> yeah, we know people make mistakes. Just ask your mother. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Patsy, you changed. You've become really mean. What, like you, Shabba? Maybe I got a few tips from you. <sighs> well, guys... This isn't right. I, I, I've just made a mistake, you know. I, I'm sorry for everything I've done. Please, guys, don't make a dog beg. I'm so sorry. What, what's going on here? Well, like it seems that Sherbert was saying sorry to us. I am. I'm very sorry. It was, it was, I had. I, I had a parasite in my brain. I didn't know what was going on. I'm so sorry. And Muffin, I'm so sorry for ruining your special day. I know that you and Duke are meant to be together. I'm just jealous because I, I, I'm not who I thought I was. <laughs> What's this I see? <laughs> What's going on here? Is this Queen Sherman groveling on her knees? <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see the day. <coughs> What's wrong with you, Shabba? I, I feel really sick.
sick all of a sudden. What's going I'm on? I'm dizzy. I really oh, am. Uh, like, are you okay, oh, Sherbert? I, I think I've been poisoned. What? Oh, yeah. Somebody help, quick. Quick, Sherbert's in danger. What's going on here? <laughs> What's happened? I think someone's poisoned Sherbert. What? Oh, no. I'd better call an ambulance. I'll be right back. Somebody save me! Who could do such a thing? <sighs> like, uh, she was saying sorry, this is all wrong, who did this? What did they poison? How did you get poisoned, Sherbert? <laughs> Nothing. So loud that we can't hear! A muffin! A what? muffin? No, what? I didn't! It wasn't me! <coughs> What? I don't understand. Oh, my dogs. Oh, She's my not dogs. moving, guys. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Quickly. What did you do, Muffin? I didn't do anything. I well, promise. who did it then? I, I don't understand what's going on. Well, 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 what do we have here? Five suspects lined up in a row. Well, I'm Detective Bongo and I've been investigating this case. Down at the school today, I found a key piece of evidence in this case which implicates some of you. You were? Uh, you dare not implicate me, copper! I was nothing to do with you, right? You calm down or I'll send you down to the cells. You're hard. Just be quiet. We can get out of here. You're okay. Bring in a key piece of evidence. Tell me, do you any of you guys recognize this? This is a bottle of poison that we found in the school and it has somebody's fingerprints on it. Do any of you recognize this? Do you recognize this? Do you recognize this? What about you? Shut up. What did you say to me? Do you recognize this? No. Do any of you recognize this poison? No. Well, it has been a result of my investigation though that we found some fingerprints on this. And as such, it has ruled some of you out of the investigation. The full results will be back very soon, but until then, some of you will be let go. The puppy elite, you two may go home. Oh my God, that was so lucky. As for the rest of you three, what, why are we still here? Yeah, why am I still here? Let me go right now! You three are implicated in the crime. It is possible that one of you three are the ones who poisoned Sherbert. Now, Sherbert is not dead, but she is in critical condition, so this is being treated as an attempted murder, and you three are implicated. What? How am I implicated? I wasn't even there! Just be quiet, you'll get us in bigger trouble than we're already in. Whatever! Now you three, get out of my sight, I'm gonna bring in the next suspect. You're okay, didn't wanna be here anyway. 
Now you four know exactly why you're here. Today there was an attempt on Sherbert's life. She's in critical condition in the hospital and this is being treated as an attempted murder investigation. I am Inspector Bongo and I'm investigating this case. Now I'm gonna bring in something and you guys are gonna tell me if you recognize it. This is a bottle of poison that was found at the scene of the crime. Do you recognize this? Do you? I, I don't know. What about you, Duke? I I've never seen that before in my life. Muffin, do you recognize this poison? What? No, of course not. Well, one of you do. What about you, Patsy? No. Well, we've done some investigations and some fingerprints have been found on this poison bottle and they belong to a suspect that was arrested. It's someone from your school. Now the preliminary results of the fingerprint investigations are in and I can rule out two of you as suspects. Patsy, you can go home. Oh, thank goodness. Sherbert, you can go home as well. Oh, I knew it wasn't me. You two can come back later. You're in the highly suspicious list of suspects what? that could have committed this crime. We would never do something like this! This is ridiculous! We've been framed! Tell it to the judge. <gasps> now bring you guys back when the investigation is complete and the fingerprints results are completely in. Now you two, get out of my sight! <sighs> I will get to the bottom of this. I'm the best detective in this town. Welcome back. The results of the fingerprints are in. In this piece of paper, I have the name of the culprit. Now I'm going to read the results. Hmm. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Tabitha, you and your mother can go home. Oh, thank gosh. And that leaves us with you three, now doesn't it? Yeah, I didn't do it, did I? Why are you blaming me? I haven't even blamed you yet, have I, Minnie Darla? No, but I was not involved in it. We, I would never do it. You know I'm innocent. I would never do something like this. Now... You first aroused my suspicions the minute you walked into this prison cell. It was your attitude and the way you talked. I could tell you were hiding a deep, dark secret. I could just tell by looking deep into your eyes that you had a vile secret deep inside. After a long study of your backgrounds and histories, I decided that there was only one the one creature in this room was evil enough to commit such a vile and atrocious act to a poor, innocent puppy. Isn't that right? What are you looking at me for? Dad, it was you. Isn't that right? Duke! <gasps> what? What? No, I didn't. Your fingerprints were on the poison, Duke. Duke. Yours. <laughs> Why would you do this I knew to it us? wasn't me. I'm going. Duke, you got too far. What? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. Well, the fingerprints say otherwise, Duke. Why did you poison her? Duke, Why? We tried so hard to be together. Now you're going to separate us again. How could you? I'm sorry, Duke, but you are coming with me. No. I didn't do this. I didn't do this, Muffin. You have to believe me. I didn't do this. I didn't. After so hard, I've tried to keep us together. And he does something as stupid as this. <sighs> Hello, Sherbet. It's me, your doctor. Uh, I've just checked over your chart. Uh, let me have a look at that. Um, well, it seems like we're gonna have to chop off all of your limbs and amputate all what? of your legs. My limbs? No! <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. That was the wrong chart. <laughs> I'm always making mistakes like that. No, you're going to be absolutely fine. Just a few more weeks in the hospital and you'll be allowed to be out. Oh, thank goodness for that. Well, there is a visitor for you. Uh, somebody by the name of Minnie Darla. <laughs> yes, bring them in. 
Okay. Why are you so late? I've been waiting the ages for you. I've been in jail for the day. What do you expect? I can get out that quickly. You're so useless when it comes to things that matter. I can't actually believe that Duke was the one who did it. Why would he do that to you? Well, you know, he's just an idiot, isn't he? Now, Dala, I have a task for you. What? What do you want me to do this I time? I need you to take this disc for me. It's very, very important. Well, what's on that disc? Never you mind, Dala, what's on that disc. What I need to do is I need to get you to destroy it completely. How much you pay for it? I'll give you... I'll give you five pounds. Okay, give me the disc. Okay, take the disc. Right. Now it's very important that whatever you do, Dyla, that you don't watch the disc. Would okay. I ever? I'd never do that. Confidentiality is very important between a businesswoman and her clients. Okay, no problem. See you later, alligator. See you later. Lovely to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what are you doing out of your bed? I just sat up to see if I could manage a glass of water. Oh, that's no problem. Okay, well, uh, I'll just give you a little heart check. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Don't watch the disc. <laughs> Do she know who I am? I'm in Italia. I do what I like. I'm going to watch this disc and see exactly what's on it. <laughs> right, let's press play on this thing. Shocking turn of events. <laughs> well, looks like I know a big secret. Mm, what should I do about it? Ooh, I'm gonna have to think about this one. <laughs> Stop thinking now, it's me, Sherbet. Oh, so, did you get rid of the dick? Uh, I'd like to say yes, but the answer is no. What? I'm Minnie Tyler. I do what I want, Sherba. You are the worst person I've ever employed. What, coming from you? <laughs> you make me laugh, Sherba. You really do. What's it going to take to shut that stupid little mouth? Hmm, what's it gonna take? Let me think. Well, you're very lucky, Shadow, because it just so happens I've got the disc with me. You're such a little rat! Oh, really? Well, maybe this little rat will go and hand the disc over to Muffin, eh, for a big payment? You would never dare! Well, you know, maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. Maybe. You should offer up a bit of your cash, Sherbet. Uh, I know you've got more. Fine. Let me see what I've got. How dare you rob a dying dog? Five pound? <laughs> You're having a laugh, Sherbet. It's going to cost a bit more than that. Come That's on. That's all I've got. Keep them coming. I can see a big stack there. Come on now. Uh, got a new car to buy. Fine. Fifteen? That won't even barely buy me a tyre. Come on, keep the money coming. Ah. All right then, Sherba, I'm going to go to the police now. Fine, take it. Take all I've got. I don't care anymore. I value my life more than this. Oh, how much have we got here then? This looks like a big stash. Where did you get all this, Sherba? <laughs> Puppy elite deposit. They've returned it to me. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Ooh, look at this. I love my money. And I've got my money. I'm heading.
quite enough now. You really are a piece of work, aren't you? What? This coming from you? Where's my desk? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. (laughs) There, destroyed. Now let's see you do anything. (laughs) I don't need you anymore, Tyler. (laughs) Come on now, you always need me. You know that you're nothing without me. You're... You'll come groveling back like you always do. <laughs> you are having a laugh. As if I'd ever come back to you after everything you put me through. If you just did your job right, I wouldn't be in this mess. You'll come running back to me, Sherbet. Just like this money. You can bank on it. Bye. Hello? Is that Detective Inspector Bongo? Yes, uh, this is Sherbet's doctor. Uh, I have some interesting information that you may be interested in. Uh Uh-huh. Well, what I actually overheard was I overheard Sherbet with her friend Minnie Dollar, and they were talking about some kind of evidence that they destroyed. Some kind of a disc. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, great. Bye. Oh, Oh, good. The police are on their way. It's lucky that I got this dark sense of hearing, but they'll never find the disc. It has been destroyed. I've got to get out of here fast. I got here as quickly as I can. Where is she? Oh, oh, I don't know. She must have ran off. Oh, you imbecile! Couldn't you have kept her here? I don't know. Was on my lunch break. It's, it's not down to me to do things on my lunch break. Oh. Now we're gonna have to hunt her down. You're such a nincompoop. Oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's Dr. Nincompoop to you. Ugh. What did I do? Why does no one believe me? I would never try to poison anybody. This, this is a wrong conviction. I, I didn't do it. All right, mister, it's oh, your not... lucky day. What do you mean? New evidence has come to light that proves that you are no longer the suspect. So for now, you're temporarily free to go. Well, at least somebody saw some common sense. Of course I would never kill anyone. I'm an honourable dog. Just doing me job. Muffin, they let me out. I came as soon as I heard. I'm so sorry, I should never have doubted you. Well, the evidence was pretty compelling, but but it seems like the evidence may have been planted, because I would never do that. You know me, you know I'd never hurt anyone. I know, but I do know that sometimes love can be so dangerous. It can make you do such crazy things. Yeah, that's true, but, but, but I didn't do it. They've let me out temporarily, but they said... If they can't find out who the culprit is, they they could still blame it on me. They won't. We're going to find out the true culprit, don't you worry. (laughs) I've missed you. I've missed you too. Duke, we've only got one chance. We've been messing around. We just have to do it now. Sherbet's in the hospital. My dad's at home, but my mum's locked him in the cage. There's no one to stop us. Let's do it now. Let's do it properly this time. Do what? Get married. Yes, let's do it. Let's get married. I'll go get my veil. I'll meet you soon. Hello? Mum, who is it? Wait, wait there, honey. It's important. Hello? Muffin? (gasps) Yes? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, wow, that's great news. Okay, we'll be right there. Okay, see you soon. What's happening, Mum? Uh, It was Muffin. Her and Duke are actually going to get married. (gasps) Fine. So we'd better get down to the local church as soon as possible. Is Dad still in the cage? Yes, he's locked in there. Don't worry about him. Oh, oh this is the best news ever. They're really going to do it this time. Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, you. Uh, hey. Did you hear the news? What, 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 that Duke tried to kill Sherbert? No, silly. That's over and done with. Duke has been let out. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. And they're going to go get married. Oh, wow. That, that's really good. I'd better hurry up and get down there. Do you know where it is? Yeah, it's at the church around the corner. But wait, um, I've got something to say to you. What's that? 
I'm really sorry about that evil prank. That wasn't my idea, that was Sherbet's idea, and you know what she's like. Yeah. She manipulated me, and it was wrong, and it was cruel, and I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, I accept I, your apology, I guess. I was actually kind of wondering something. Um, what? Um, would you like to be my date at the wedding? Date at the wedding? What, with a popular girl like you? Yeah. You're not interested in a geek like me. No, I am. I am. It's not a joke. Are you sure it's not another prank? I promise you. I'm so sorry. I've realised that you're really sweet. And although we might be very different, we actually do have things in common. And I'd really like to hang out with you and get to know you a bit more. Uh, if you don't believe me... Why would I believe you? Here's proof. Uh, oh. So, will you come with me? Uh, okay. Sh sure. Yes. Come I'm on, I'm gonna then. go get ready. Well, my intelligence has come up short so far. I cannot find Sherbet anywhere. Do you have any information for me, Maddie? Alright, sir. I ain't got any information yet. But the good news is the doctor said she ain't got any cash anymore because she gave it all to that pink dragon. Ah, oh, Minnie Dala. Hmm. Maybe if we can find her, we'd get to Sherbet. I just don't know where both of them could be. I always told you that Pink Dragon's up to no good, sir. Yes, well, I obviously knew that when I met her. She was a bit of a dodgy character. She's a bad egg. Okay. Oh, Maddie, we have to track them down, so come with me. We'll try and find out where they are. Yeah, let's get that good for nothing. And her dragon friend as well. I've got to book a ticket. I've got to get out of here. What's available? What's available? Uh, <laughs> what do you want? Well, Sherba, I think I've got a little bit of information that would be of interest to you. <laughs> you do, do you? Oh, yeah. I've got a great bit of information you'd be loving to hear. And why should I believe you? Well, you don't have to believe me, but what if I were to tell you that Duke and Muffin were getting married again? What? No. Oh yeah, it's true, Cher, but don't you worry uh, about that. Oh, they constantly make fun of me. Oh, I can't let them away with this. Oh, where are they? Why would I tell you? You don't need me anymore, remember? Oh. <laughs> Dala, this isn't funny. Please, stop toying with me. Well, Shara, you did say you didn't need me anymore, you know. And what did I say? Do you remember? Oh. I said you'd need me again. I said you'd be back groveling on your knees. And here we are. Stop. You know how humiliating this is for this puppy. Like I haven't already been for a well, I tell you what, Shabba, I do you a little deal, mini darling style. How about you grovel on your knees and say sorry for all the mean things you said about me? Oh. So go on, go ahead. Fine. I'm sorry. No, I didn't like that one. Can, can you try it again with a bit more feeling? I'm so sorry. That's better. Also, I want your Apple Mac over there, so you can just hand it over. That's the last thing I have! Well, You're taking everything else from me! Alright then, fine, I'm just gonna go then. Oh, fine, I have the stupid laptop! Oh, thanks! <laughs> I'm gonna use this, let's have a look at it. Well, it's not as good as my one, because mine is a DVD rewrite. Oh, shut up! Who cares about stupid things like that? Well, I can sell it on for a quick buck. I know someone who will buy this. <sighs> His name's Cinder. He's a bit of a dope, so he'll probably give me good money for it. Okay, so... Tell me! They're at the church on Smith Street. Right, that's it. I'm getting them. The wedding's due to kick off about 12 in the afternoon, so yeah. That's, that's only 20 minutes time. We better get run then, you uh, share that. This is time. <laughs> oh, I'm so clever. I'm so rich. I'm Minnie Tyler. I'm the queen. Hurry up and get out. Your little princess is 
was about to marry that scrappy boy. Well, I would get out if I could, you idiot. How am I supposed to get out of this cage? Get out. We don't have any time to waste. Come on, let's go. It's sl slow down. What's happening again? Your little cat is about to marry that poor excuse of a mangy mutt. Oh, not again. Oh, we have to stop them. I know, but luckily for you, I have already got a plan. What's that? Now, luckily, I still got some left from the last time I used it, but this time we can actually poison the wedding cake. Well, you know, my, my wife and daughter locked me in this cage. They deserve everything they, they get. Now, do you have the guts to go through with this plan? Yes, let's do it. Let's get them once and for all. <laughs> Wow, she looks so beautiful. Jake. Muffin. I can't believe it's finally going to happen. You look so gorgeous. Oh, you look so handsome. I gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Duke and Muffin. If there is anyone here present that has a lawful reason these two should not be married, please let it be known now. Okay, guys, we may go through with the ceremony. Duke, I'm really gonna be your wife. Do you, Duke, take Muffin to be your wedded wife? To live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her for better or for worse, richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in forsaking all others, be faithful only to her, for as long as you both shall live. I do. Come on, Christ. It's time to get revenge. Let's get inside. It's time for my daughter to pay. Yes. <laughs> what? Darla, what are you doing here? Hey, Sherba. Muffin, where's Duke? I don't have time for this. Where are they? The truth is, Sherba, I lied. What? Yeah, no, haven't spent a bit of time with you over these past few weeks. I kind of decided that I just don't like you. Ah. I kind of think you're a bit of a loser, to be honest, Sherba. Ah. You better back away from me, Sherba. You know what I'm capable of. <laughs> Like you're capable of anything. Come on, let's fight. Let's go. Oh, wait there. Remember that DVD rewriter I told you about? <laughs> Why are you talking about such ridiculous thing right now? Well, I made a copy of the disc you gave me. What? And I kind of handed it over to the police. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, you are surrounded. Come on, with your hands up. No. You are surrounded. No. There's no escape. <laughs> I'll get you for this, Donna! Oh, I'll get you! Why? Why? Is that a threat? Yes, it's a threat. Ooh, I'm quaking in my little Donna boots! Little snitch! Um, well, you know, in this life, Shabbat, you got to realise that sometimes you got to look out for number one. I just don't like you, Shabbat. You're a bit evil, and even more evil than me. Well, I didn't do anything. I'm not implicated in any of this. Oh, really? Well, didn't you neglect your daughter and put her in a cage? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's against the law as well. So it seems that both of you two are going to get locked up. <laughs> You'll never get away with this, Darla! If I were you, I'd look behind you, Sherbert. As if I'm going to fall for that. Okay, hate to say I told all you so. Alright, alright, you're nicked. Hands off me, I didn't do you're anything. Coming down the station. Well, Sherbert, you thought you were clever. No, this isn't how it ends. This is all wrong. What? What's that? This is a disc copy. No, it's fake. It's a lie. I'm being accused. This is all fake. Everything on this disc shows me that you poisoned yourself. No, I wouldn't do that. This is fraud and it's and against no, the law. No, 
I'm sorry, Sherbet, but you are going to jail. Come with me. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> the truth is, sometimes in life, you just gotta take care of yourself. And if you see someone who's being mean and you don't like him, just tell the police. <laughs> oh, some nice poison here. This might come in useful. See you later, alligator. Do you, Muffin, take the Duke? to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage, do you promise to love him, comfort him, honour him, and keep him for better, for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful only to him, for as long as you shall both live? I do! It is my great pleasure to now pronounce you both man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh my God! I can't believe it. Oh my dogs, it's finally happened. Have you, Muffin? I love you too, Jim. Nothing can stop us. Two, three. Oh my dogs, I'm going to get married. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Hello, Dala. Here's the top of the range car that I've got for you. All the top specs. It's got everything. It goes really fast. It's really expensive. You got the money? Yeah, here it is. Okay then, Dala. Nice doing business with you. Thank you. See you later. Oh, I'm so excited. A brand new car for me. <laughs> well, you didn't really think I was that bad, did you? Well... Maybe on the weekends. Who says crime doesn't pay? All of you losers, you think you've got the better of me? You think you've got the better of Sherbet? Well, it's not true. I've only got to serve two years. Two years is nothing for a dog. And when I'm out, that's when you're gonna pay!